Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is a demonstration of Network X on a Google Colab document. Uh, Network X allows you to draw programmatically diagrams. You can see I've got a very simple diagram here, node one, node two, and they are connected with labels. Now, uh, the labels <clears throat> are right here. Let's go ahead and add a new label. True. And false. And you can see true and false are now floating around in their own space. Um, now, if I add an edge, theoretically, I should be able to connect true. Uh, actually, the edges need to be connected to each other. So let's go ahead and add a G edge. <coughs> true. Let's see if that works. It does. So now let's connect our false. And now we have our nodes connecting. And just for giggles, we'll go ahead and connect false with one. And we should get a pretty diagram. Maybe not so pretty, but you see what's happening. Um, I can also go ahead and add true here and see what happens with that. And now you can start seeing that uh, <clears throat> one is connected to um, one connects true and false, whereas two um, is only connected to one. So you can build your own diagrams. Uh, you can also have arrows connecting, connecting them as well if you use a directed graph. Here's network graph, here is directed graph, and then we have uh, a graph with no, no labels, uh, no arrows rather. Now we have what I wanna call our star graphs. And we can create these star graphs. Here's the, the graph G. Here are the values. So I'm going to change the value here and call this the center of mammalian life, just for giggles. And you can see it doesn't really like that alignment. So let's go with center and see if that changes anything. And it does. So you can see a bit of a, a fix here. Now, we also have a bit of a problem with the text being cut off. So let's actually add one more parameter here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, now you can see uh, the margins are being correctly added or at least respected. And uh, we're, losing, we're losing the G at the bottom there. We open an image in new tab. Is it any better? No, it's not. But uh, what is pretty cool is that we've created a graph with, uh, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and see if we can plot margins the Y as well and see if there is a respect for the Y. There is. All right, so we can force everything into the same into the same area it's obviously getting quite ugly there so let's drop the font and it doesn't help very much but you get the idea uh, and so we can go down and do the same thing with larger graphs where i've got a lot more information here and i'm going to add my new plot margin y and what's going to happen is I should now have a plot graph PNG in my folder here, which I do. And if I open it, uh, 
I open it, I should, ah, there it is, it's huge. Open image, a new tab. That's much better, isn't it? So the representation in the Google Colab output is inferior to what you get with, wow, look at that, with the, uh, with the network graph. <clears throat> of course, I've got the DPI set to 600, so let's bop, let's drop that down to uh, 100, and we'll rename this to 1, control enter to run it, close that, and refresh over here, and now we have a new plot graph. Double click to open it, and you can see much more reasonable size. Of course, you play with the DPI until you find what you're looking for. That uh, is Network's graph. Obviously, if you are a more talented programmer, you can get a lot more out of it than I have. Uh, I will share this link with you, and you can play with it to your heart's content. Big thanks to the many people out there who have posted on how to tweak Network X to get it to work. You definitely want to import it, obviously. Thanks for watching and happy computing.